Hi, I'm Lisa Canning. And uh, someone recently asked me how this button that I created came into being. And I thought maybe you'd be interested in hearing the story. About three years ago, um, I got divorced and I sold a rather large business that I had. And for about three months, uh, I sat around trying to figure out what I was going to do with my life. And no, I wasn't eating bonbons. And no, I didn't have enough money to retire. I'm an artist, after all. But what I did have was a lot of ideas about the life that I had led in that business and how many artists I had tried to help who I had employed and helped cultivate and develop their talents inside of the business that I grew. And one of the things that I really felt passionate about was that artists really needed to learn how to really profit from their artistry and not look at profit as a dirty word. Because after all, money is energy, and where we put our energy means that there is likely a profit. So I wrote this book called Starving Artists Not. And uh, I had never written more than 20 pages, let alone 250 pages. But nonetheless, I was brave enough to try to accomplish what I thought needed to be said. And uh, I was lucky enough to have that book picked up by a, a really wonderful agent. But the book never did sell. But in the process of that experience, I realized that I, this, this held a lot of meaning for me. And so I started to write a blog about it. I created a website called Entrepreneur of the Arts. And I met a lot of interesting people, all of whom were interested in the idea of artists no longer starving. And I, I, I really was on a mission to try to accomplish what I saw in that book that I wrote. And as I continued to write and I continued to express the ideas that this button represents, I found more and more people interested in what it was that I was saying. And lo and behold, here I am today, um, becoming the founder of the Institute for Arts Entrepreneurship and promoting the ideas very concretely through the process of education. When you consider becoming an entrepreneur, you have to realize that what you first see as your vision and your dream may change two or three times before it actually becomes something that's viable and vibrant and where you will earn a living and, and succeed for many years to come. So to accomplish that, that kind of vision, you need help and guidance. I hope you'll consider attending the Institute for Arts Entrepreneurship.